this very beautiful sunflower dried up and I ended up feeding it to the chickens. Welcome back to my channel. I am Sarah Pedun and in this channel we talk about all things urban gardening. If you are new here, you are so welcome. For my old guys, thank you so much for always coming back. Today I'm going to show you how I reduce the cost of chicken feeds. My chickens are local birds and they basically can eat everything. One, I feed them with my kitchen scraps at the leftover foods. I just take and pour for them and they love it and then number two is that I open them and let them free like free range for a day under a watchful eye I graze them literally for some good time and then I take them back in and then give them some feeds three is that I give them whatever is in my garden like skooma wiki spinach Swiss chard and whatever is growing around, I give them and they enjoy that. The corn, guys, we had lovely corn. We enjoyed our corn and we let some just dry so that chickens can also have. Lastly, is something that I'm just going to try with you guys and you'll see if the chickens love. So this is the lovely corn that we enjoyed and let some dry for the chickens. This afternoon, our banana plantation fell. I had supported it and it showed all the signs of falling, but I couldn't be bothered. I knew it was almost time to harvest it. And when it fell, we just harvested it. It was became heavy. Organic. <laughs> This bunch of banana was so big. This is matoke, not sweet banana or bogoya. It's matoke. And it was so big, as you guys can see, more than we can eat. And there is no way of preserving matoke. Or is it there? <laughs> if anyone knows how to preserve matoke, I need to know. Please let me know. Till then, we'll be sharing with my family, friends, and neighbors. So today I'm going to try something I watched on YouTube. I saw someone feed the chicken and ducks uh, with the stem of the banana. They chopped it into pieces and they gave the buds. So I'm going to do the same and see if my chickens like it. I'll mix it with the maize bran and see if they will like it. I peeled the banana stem, the hard bits off, and then I chopped only the inside bit and gave the chickens.
few hours later, I went to see if the chickens had eaten. And guys, they ate. Maybe it wasn't their favorite, but still they ate. And I think I cut it into very big chunks. Next time I'll do tiny pieces. I think they were big chunks, so they didn't eat everything. But they ate, as you can see. So that was not a total fail. I'll definitely do it next time. So the chickens, I guess, were so full. Usually when I go next to them, they just come running, even when they have feeds. But this time they were just staring at me. I don't know if they didn't like what they ate, but they ate it anyway. I dried the banana peelings for our rabbits and they loved it. As you can see, nothing here goes to waste. The whole plant was somehow eaten. And this makes me so happy. This, this was the top part that I peeled off from the stem. I'm going to make, let it dry and then I'll use it for my craft. I don't know what I'm going to make exactly. But I think I'll get to show you some other time. I've just seen a very beautiful rose. And I really have to show you guys. Oh my god. So beautiful. And it's growing in this little jerry can. Let me put it back. Alright. There you go. I have propagated very many roses. And all of them are doing so well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed being here with you guys. If you like my kind of content and you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Bless you. Like, share, click on the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.